Okay, um, first, let's do this really quick. We're going to review those three things on the board for a minute or two, and, I'm, and then we're going we're gonna to try and solve some problems uh, and see if you can use what you know, okay? Uh, differential heating, temperature, can somebody tell me what that is? And we're, we're, we're still talking about what concept again? What's, what's the main concept? Yeah, Dylan? What do all three of those things put together cause? Wind. Do they cause wind? They are wind. Uh, they, are they are wind. They are wind. Okay. So let's do differential heating. Temperature. Go ahead. Uh, differential heating means uh, there's different temperatures in different areas. Okay. So different places get heated differently. So right now outside it's probably not very warm. Whereas in uh, Southern California, they probably have differential heating than we have right here? Yeah. Okay. How about changes in density? What, what does that mean to you? If we take differential heating and then we go down a step to, d to changes in density, what's going on, JC? Uh, the heat in certain areas or the differential temperature okay. causes different density because warm air rises, whereas uh, Colder drops and the colder is low pressure. I mean, oh. high pressure. So. Who agrees with what he just said? <coughs> Did you not hear what he just said? Okay, say it again. Uh, differential heating. There's different temperatures in different areas, and so like a warm air rises, and that's low pressure, whereas high pressure is cold air, and that's. Low. Did you hear what he said? Yeah. Do you agree with that? Okay, is there anything he said that you hadn't heard before? Okay, let's go to the last one then.